Oh, what's up, everybody? You got Mark here. You got Matt over there. Matt, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? I'm wearing my hot dog shirt today. See this? Oh, man. Look at yeah. this guy. Well, hey, it yeah. is like the last hot day of, of, of summer, I would say. It's yeah, like, it was like 88 It's mid-80s or high 80s today in the Chicagoland area, and I yeah. think I saw the forecast. We're like hitting 60s like Good. the next two Good. weeks or whatever. So That's I think, more my speed. I think that's my speed, too. Yeah. I, I think fall is kind of in the air. It's here. So this is like kind of our last breath of summer. So... Yeah. Uh, after this, uh, I think I'm going to grill outside, hang out outside, sure. enjoy the warm weather yeah. for the last day, right? You know, you're going to go little, out with a bang, a little midweek grilling with Mark, send you know? uh, summer out in have, style, have a few beers with the neighbors, dude. They're usually chilling. The people outside. that took the, the, the fondue. Oh, those jerks. You know what? We should put up, can we put a missing persons poster back with there the fondue. with the fondue and just do a countdown days missing. We'll just add a day. We'll just add it. <laughs> have Mark. you seen me? Have you seen me? Like ridiculous <laughs> stuff going on. Yeah, absolutely. I think we need to do that, Matt. Cause that, I don't know. They've had my uh, chocolate fondue fountain. That's Those not even really man. mine. It's, How dare they? It's for someone else. So, you know, <laughs> it's what it is. But yeah, guys, we're going to be opening up the Looney Tunes packs today, Matt. Uh, let me show yeah, you I'm excited guys. for you, Mark. Here they are. You, you've had more. really good success with Grails. Yes, but as uh, Bro Lecters, welcome. And as Bro Lecters mentions, Arby's is the way to go. And Arby's yeah. I had the last two, to last two times I opened them. Can and we, I got the we'll grill. Go and I, Arby's, Arby's real quick. I just forgot. I, guys, I'm having lunch, and I'm sitting there thinking, like, oh, opening the packs today will be a lot of fun. And I was like, oh, fuck. I got lost my appetite right this there. It was a big mistake, Mark. I was like, I can't eat the rest of this. You know what I mean? It was a, it was a nice deli sandwich, you know. Really it's Arby's one. adjacent. Yeah. <sighs> it was it was meat. Here's you had a meat sandwich. sandwich. It was a turkey sandwich. It was right. on a pretzel roll. It was delicious. Well, that sounds good. Mm. Yeah. A little lettuce, tomato, a little spicy mustard, dude. Okay. Ooh, yeah, a little mayonnaise, too. Just a little. Pretzel yeah. pretzel bun makes the difference. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a superior bun, especially a fresh one, like oh, with the yes. burger and stuff. Oh, yeah. You kind of munch down on it. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Only fanny scars. What's up, man? How's it going? What up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we'll pull the big one there, guys. And the other big news today we'll touch on is sorcery. And they're going to have some stuff today uh, going uh, later tonight because they don't want to compete against us. They know. Yeah, smart. They're going to let our whatnot end, yeah. and then they're going to do their stuff. So we're going to do a whatnot right after this, guys. We're going to do a Nostalgics uh, Day Zero Booster Box. Yeah. Uh, let me show that real quick. Hopefully, we've got the camera set up. It'll be a surprise. Oh, wait. Yeah, wait, kind wait, of. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, the camera. There you go. Wee. So we're doing all that, and every five dollars spent is an entry on the wheel for the, yeah, silver, the silver wrong, yeah, the metal wrong. So we're gonna do that after the show. All right, let's see. It's numbered to twenty-one fifty. There you go. Pretty cool. Yeah. But we'll um, be done before this, and this will be kind of cool yep. to watch. We'll see what's going on. Uh, Cause sorcery, if you guys remember, Matt, that's a lot of New Zealand that's dollars. A lot of New Zealand. And I think dollars. it came out to like what three million, something like that. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm a little bit wrong. The dollar's all weird. I hope they got their money. Well, I, I hope they're getting, well, I don't know. Do they get, I'm not sure if they get US dollars or what, but the dollar has been so strong over these past few months. Like they might've made mm. money on foreign exchange. Who knows? So it might be 10% higher than that. How, mm. funny, how funny would that be? You know? Yeah. Hey, I'm air. really excited for this. I'm excited for, for cryptic, <clears throat> my, my cryptic booster boxes and I'm excited for sorcery. Yeah. And I'm excited for this day zero opening guys. If you sure. don't know this nostalgic stuff, I think they still have a chance. I'm not giving up on them yet. Cause I think they have a niche as an easier game and a kind of a younger market and they just need to promote now we'll see how it goes well, someone's got to pay for that that juice bar and the gym <sighs> well and they produced so someone's got and get, they produced is so, right someone's got to cut them some fucking slack there because there's a lot of people who haven't produced and took you true money, so very true they gave you a game and a nice package and all that mm -hmm. but, matt let's get started let's talk tops Swipe the scandal man my favorite company probably that's up there really top, top three right under arby's no okay <laughs> so Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's your top three companies, Mark? I need to oh, know. Man, I need to know I this see now. You're going to put me on the spot. You you brought it up, not can, me. Can I, can I respond to that uh, next show? Can I give you guys Mark's top three companies? Yes. I want the Mark Company heat check. Mark Company heat check. All top right. five companies. Top five companies. Yes. I'll give you top five companies next show. <laughs> uh, God, you're putting me on the spot with that. There's so many. You, you know look, what I you mean? asked I'd for leave it. one out, and then I'd feel really stupid. I'll give you two days to think about it. All right. Okay, guys. So uh, we have Tops here. And what, what do Tops do? They release Tops Chrome 2022. Kind and of. <laughs> me and Matt, we were texting back and forth about this. We're like, yo, yeah. this seems like, hey, you know, we really like Tops Chrome. Let's keep an eye on this. Yep. This might be something we would buy. Let's check what the price is, all this stuff. It gets released. We're kind of keeping an eye on it. We're looking at eBay prices. And we're like, man, this doesn't move. Like, yep. and then we're looking at tops, and we're like, it really hasn't moved. Like, Literally no hadn't one's sold even out. buying this. Yeah. Like, okay, the eBay prices are flat. This is flat. What's going on? You know what I mean? So we were kind of, you know, checking the boards and stuff, and everyone's worried about 
rookies, man. You, you, would you read it? Yeah. At? So, yeah, we, as you said, we, we were talking about this a little bit the day it launched, and I think the day after, because mm -hmm. Topps Chrome is normally one of the the biggest from a baseball oh, specifically I standpoint. I wish I had one around. They're they're awesome looking cards. They're very nice cards. Topps Chrome. Mm -hmm. I, I think if you're looking at it from baseball only, Bowman Chrome rookies are always going to be the most sought after, and part of that is because Bowman, I think, is traditionally. Uh, it's the older older product, like Bowman, uh, the Mickey Mantle rookie from 1951. We talked about the 52. Is that the one that sold for a gajillion that's dollars? That's 52. That's oh, the second okay. year. That's Topps. His rookie card is 51 Bowman. Okay. So Bowman precedes Topps. So Bowman ah. is like more of, looked at as more of like the traditional Bo uh, baseball brand. Okay. So Bowman Chrome, when they put out their rookies, so looking at the screen here, Wanda Franco is on the, he's the number one prospect in baseball. The guy you want. Right. Okay. His Bowman Chrome rookie is from 2019. Okay. His Topps Chrome rookie is from 2022. So if Whoa, you're. Oh, okay. So, wow. Okay. That's yes. a huge difference. That's a huge difference. Bowman Good. Chrome rookies traditionally come out earlier in the set than Topps Chrome. So, if you want someone's true rookie card, like their first you, printed card. You'd want the older You one. want Bowman Chrome. And uh, is that, I mean, they, I, I'm just spitballing here and you might not know I'm putting you on the spot here. Is it because they, they got brought up at the end of the season and actually played in the majors or something? You I, know, and I didn't think, count as a year toward, you know what I mean? If yes, they brought up that, at the that's, end. That's, that's the update. So like Topps okay. Chrome and there'll be Topps Chrome update. Um, okay. So I, I think, Mark, to answer your question, a lot of it is Bowman Chrome will print cards of guys that are like drafted. So like, the Juan de Franco, he was, an, I think he was an international. So, like, once as soon as he was signed. Yeah, okay, I'm going to put you on the spot again. Sure. Uh, Julio Rodriguez or Bobby Witt Jr.? Sure, I know both of those guys. Okay, so that's... Those guys, are, so we're going to get ahead here. I'm not going to get too far ahead, but these, the, the short-printed rookies that are supposed to be in this set, I'm assuming Julio Rodriguez and Bobby Witt, or at least Bobby Witt was one. Yep, absolutely. So that's kind of like, I'm throwing out two big names that yep. they kind of, th they let everyone know. Julio Rodriguez is going to be rookie of the year. He's awesome. Oh, is he on, who's, who's, he's on the Mariners. Okay. He's a 30-30 he's guy this year. Rookie year. Damn. He's awesome. Okay, cool. He's awesome. See, okay. I, well, you know what? I do like watching playoff baseball, so I think I'll get caught up here in yep. this next. Yep. I, I'll learn a lot in the next month. The Mariners mm -hmm. are making the playoffs, right? They're in the hunt. I don't know if they're going to okay. make I haven't looked at the standings, but they're competitive. All right, guys. So Topps released this, right? Okay, they're 2022 Topps Chrome, right? Awesome set. We're talking about the rookies. That's what people want. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Topps says, as soon as we became... Okay, let's start at the very beginning. Topps' highest priority is our customers. That's us, guys. Yep. And we want to provide you with all, all with an update. Thanks, Topps. Thank you. Uh, as soon as we became aware of the questions regarding the 2022 Topps Chrome baseball product, we immediately reached out to the manufacturer to uncover any issues as you should. Uh, we now understand that the planned bonus short print parallels of five rookie subject five rookie subjects were incorrectly not included in the, in the co collation of the hobby boxes. Okay, so that's bad. People are missing for the short print stuff is what people want, right? Yep. As the short print parallels were originally not part of the set and later added for an additional chase element, there were unfortunately a technical miscommunication about the product mix in the production process. Okay. Um, for future shipments of Chrome and for customers that have already purchased a product through Tops.com and hobby shops or breakers that purchase directly from us, we'll provide one additional two-card silver pack for each 2022 Tops Chrome Baseball Hobby Box purchase. The short print parallels will be randomly inserted into these packs. So this is how you're going to get what they missed, yeah. right? We are working directly with every distribution channel of the product to ensure these packs are properly distributed through the original sellers. Yeah. All right. Okay, this is going to get tough, guys. This is where things are going to get a little, gives me a little headache here. Our, customer, our customers are and continue, continue to be our main focus in everything that we do. Human errors, unfortunately, happen, and when they do, we want to make it right. And that's good. You should come up and say, hey, we fucked up, all right? This is, I, I'm all about this. You should let people know. We are working to implement additional safeguards to minimize these types of mistakes in the future, and we'll continue to strengthen our process, process with our partners. Okay, good to hear. Stay tuned for more. We are quickly working on this and we'll provide further updates ASAP. Here's the issue. You bought something like this on eBay. Yep. Guess what you're not you're getting. You're not getting it. So, yep. so there, there's ways you're just screwed. You know what I mean? I mean, it is really just like, oh uh, man, I would be pissed. I would be really upset in that matter. And if I was a seller on eBay, this would be a tough thing. Is eBay going to put the screws on me for this? Or do you know? I mean, do they... Would they expect you to send that to someone who That's bought not, this? No, from you? because if you if you buy this box on eBay from someone, at no point in your listing, are, first of all, when you list this on eBay, you're not going to know that these 
short printed parallels are missing. Mm -hmm. and, and the listing does not include the silver pack that they're going to send out. So you're under no obligation to send it. Right. Now, if you want to be a nice guy, great. But you're under no obligation to send like it. Like eBay, eBay is not going to force you. No, how they could? Wouldn't, they, no, they wouldn't you didn't, be able to. No, you, no right? it that's, wasn't that, part of the listing. And it's just not something I think they're, they're shit set up for. You know, and it, I mean, it would just be, I don't know. I mean, maybe it is. But I, like something like that, you're just screwed, dude. So it's just something to think about guys like tops like a big company is doing screw-ups like this so expect more in the future I, I don't know what else to say about this i'd be upset but that's why these are, are going this way and uh so i don't know when uh, other kickstarters are screwing up maybe be a little bit lighter on them yeah tops I mean, are screwing up but i mean this is ridiculous i'd be upset this is i mean they're trying to make it right but still i'd be like ah oh, dude no one is beyond reproach i mean all these companies are going to make mistakes in some capacity but like and look we've we've bought enough stuff from tops to be prepared that like they're gonna fuck things up mm -hmm. at essentially every level like I, I don't know if i've ever seen off the top of my head something like this where like they're supposed to be short printed cards and they were just completely left completely out. Left completely out. left out um i almost think they got to do more they got to give you a plus one i'm so just I, sending you two of those that's what they were going to be per box if i understood their so. their notes right mark and i was just kind of skimming as you're yep, reading mm -hmm. like the 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 two card pack that they're sending Mm -hmm. What exactly is that? We would provide one additional two card silver pack. I don't know why they say well, what's silver. In the, what's in the... The short print parallels will be randomly inserted into these packs. So you're going to get two of those... Two of those five. Is that a lot? Or is that what was coming per box? Well, am, I, I, am I saying it wrong? Or is that screwing up the rarity? Well, that's like, what... Like, that I don't... I don't f from what it sounds like, these, these short printed cards are not going to be numbered. They're just going to be short printed. But like, if you're giving everyone two, like, is that how many these people should have expected to pull in the box is that more like i don't That's so very I'll, I'll use this man. i'll use this analogy like now now i'm thinking because that kind of screws things up because then it makes it not as rare well that's okay yeah so there are people in our discord that are talking about like reaching out to metazoo because these issues they're having and metazoo sending them like dinged ding bell promos which used to be a lot harder to get but now if everyone keeps fucking up and they're sending them out to everyone they make those more rare more special they're making those less rare, which and people are noting on eBay, like the secondary prices of these ding to ding bells are going down because this is these are like the the consolation that they're using to send out to these people. I don't know if it's gonna have the same effect on these, but like if they're sending two of these short printed cards to everybody that bought a box, how short printed are they really? <laughs> yeah, they're not. They're not. Unless they're not. It's only a set of five. Yeah, like, exactly. It's not that many. Unless they do several versions, right? There's a green, there's an orange, and all this other shit. But even that, oh man. So yeah, this is stupid. Tops is stupid. They should be ashamed. Uh, smack them around. Tell them if I if I bought something, I would reach out and try to get more. Yeah, that's uh, that's <clears> sketchy. <throat> I reach out and try to get more. See what you can do. Say hey, I'm really disappointed. My kid was looking forward to uh, uh, Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. is legit. Bobby Witt Jr. Yeah. Uh, you know went to junior high with my wife. I don't know. Make up a story. Bobby Witt Jr. Make him yeah. send you something. Uh, you know, be funny. Uh, my dying grandma loves Bobby Witt Jr. I don't be like that. That's a little, yeah, that's that's a little extreme. It's a bit much, right? Yeah, no. Uh, keep it fun. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, but yeah, let's open some packs, man. What do you say about that? I'm excited for you. Alright, Looney Tunes packs, guys. So Looney Tunes yesterday dropped, and Matt, during the drop, something weird happened. So, I was signing in, I usually sign into at least three. My three is, so I have, uh, two computers hardwired where I live, and then I have my phone. So I always do those three. It's a different hard wire from the Ethernet. You get different IPs. Different right? IPs, right. Yep. And then my phone, I turn off the Wi-Fi, so I get two different IPs and a 5G, right? And you could add others usually through mm -hmm. other windows and things like that. Last Yesterday, though, it was different. You got hit with an error, yep. and it was weird. I, I don't know what was going on, but I just kept on trying. I kept on refreshing, sure, kept, kept on clicking, refreshing, yeah, yeah. and I got three. Well, how many were you able to get? I was, so I usually do it one for my work computer, one for my phone. I tried to do a separate one with my personal computer, but mm -hmm. I got the same error as you did. So I was only able to open two windows. One okay. for my work computer, one for my phone. One for my work computer under the IP, and one for my phone under the, the my home Wi-Fi. Okay. Yeah, weird. Interesting. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe it's uh, more of uh, them trying to stop bots, which is always well, good. Well, yeah. So, I mean, as much as I disliked the ability to only have two windows, I liked it. I mean, I don't know how much an effect it really had, but if, if it kept people from monopolizing the amount of packs yeah it doesn't make them more rare necessarily it makes them harder to get which yeah. means that people aren't buying 40 50 packs we might just keep that to twitch dude we should cut that yeah i'm cutting yeah. that i'm cutting that from youtube that's for us guys all right orange whip orange whip 
Three orange whips. All right, let's orange pack. Open a pack, man. Let's go. Let's orange a pack, too. Let's orange a pack, too. All right, hang on. We might be loud. Good luck, Mark. Oh, I got oh, a coin. Okay, okay I haven't Bonus got the coin time. yet. I haven't got the coin yet. All right. So hey, I do you know, guys, some days... Maybe you don't need Arby's. Maybe you don't need Arby's, Mark. Maybe I just need... Yeah. Just good living, dude. Just healthy living. Every man creates his own luck. Oh, you know, I like another epic here. Speedy Gonzalez, sure. awesome. Huge fan. Oh, man, this is a hot pack, Mark. What bro. else do they have in here for you? Bro, Michigan J. I always like Michigan J. Frog. Yeah, that's great. I didn't know his first name was Michigan. Hello, my baby. Hello, I don't know. My oh, baby. man. Hello, okay, Mark. so that's a hot pack, guys. So, uh. That's a know, really good eight, pack, 10, Mark. 10, 20. I Undo. have two road runners. They're, they're currently at about eighty bucks. I yeah, think guys, they, and we were yeah. comparing them. So I think when you sure. get them in the real world and you're selling them to a road runner that's not as rare as that, it's gonna look nice. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of an interesting. Mark, one. you're already up. You can pull nothing out of these last five <laughs> packs. And it's... Let's go, guys! All right, yeah. grail time. Woo! Yeah, just you know, I thought they're all gonna be epics, like as you kept going. Yeah, right. That was wild. Uh, Max, I don't. Not a huge Max token head fan, but okay. Uh, Gossamer. Goss Gossamer, yeah. Oh, the uh, Bugs Bunny uh, mm -hmm. bad guy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that was his name. Pete Puma. Ooh, I don't know if I know Pete. Uh, Sylvester and Tweety, very cool. That would have been a good, um, a good physical. Yeah. Sylvester and Tweety. And the Elmer and Fudd doing the. Elmer uh, and Fudd, both, uh, both of them. <laughs> Elmer Fudd. Uh, doing, Why does he look so funny in that? Like, he's I don't... doing the Viking thing. So that's a very oh, famous yeah. Looney Tunes where it's like, kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. And it's based on that's a very right, famous yeah. opera. Like, it matches the opera. And the song's doing things like that. So, I'll go watch it. It's uh, educational. Can you imagine if they used Dark Eyes for Daffy Duck? The Black Eyes? <laughs> well, and they, gl they glowed or something? <laughs> they, That'd be awesome. Uh, uh, Bugs Bunny. Uh, Freddy Funko is bugs. Oh, I you always look at the number two. You want two digits or last three digits, not going to get you anything. Unless it's like, you know, three in a row. Five, 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 seven, sure. seven, seven, something like that. Uh, oh, Yosemite. Man. Oh, man, he's hot, right? He's I always look at the character yeah, first, oh, and then it gets my hopes up every one. time. All right, guys. Still, already got a redeemable. Yeah, so you're I'm good. still cool. You're I good. mean, we're all good, but, you know, let's get. Let's get more. You're going to pull another one, Mark. I'm feeling it. Because I'm thinking, guys, I'm going to sell some of those epics. I think I'm going to get space shows. I got some money. So I'm, I'm working up towards that, I yeah. I think that's, that's yeah. the goal. Duck Dodgers. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, the Duck Dodgers things, it's funny. They make clones of them. Uh, Bugs Bunny uh, as king. King okay. Bugs Bunny. Space Cadet. Sure. Taz. Okay. All right, guys. With every hot pack, you're going to get a cool one. You know? I mean, it just happens sometimes. Here's a cool pack. All right. Let's heat it back up, Matt. <clears throat> I'm ready. All right, let's go. Taz, okay. Rough start. Space Cadet. Uh, Pete Puma, again, don't know Pete. Uh, Playboy Penguin. Is that a mm -hmm. high school nickname? It's true. When and I was in uh, prom. Puma. Yeah. Okay, guys, so, all right, so, okay. Here. One legendary out of five standards, Mark. I think you're doing okay. Yeah, let's take a look, guys, so if we... Uh, <laughs> So you got the legendary and three epics mm -hmm. out of sixty dollars in packs. Pretty good, right? So this is yep. good sell for at That's least hundred bucks worth of cards. And let's right. say we average yep. these out to about ten, right? Yep. So you got it, you know. And we'll say every other card all added together is is five, all right? So you're going for like, you know, sixty dollars. That's a hundred and twenty worth, right? So looking pretty good. But no, I think uh, you're talking about putting together the royalty for Space Ghost Mark, and that was. So this was. I agree. I think that's a smart plan. After I sold my Scooby-Doo redemption coins for um, the the witch and the uh, what was the other guy the the Redbeard Ghost of Redbeard, mm, Ghost Redbeard. I had like three hundred dollars in wax, mm -hmm. and I was biding my time. I, I knew that this was something I wanted to go after. I wanted to put the royalty for this together, and then Ham, which pointed out the Space Ghost, the the cost to put that royalty together was like one hundred twenty bucks. And that's more than a hundred twenty dollar yes. Funko, right? I mean, that's a cool looking Funko. I don't know. So with my three hundred dollars, I bought three premiums on the secondary market for like a hundred and ten dollars. I pulled two legendary Roadrunners. I'm gonna use the rest of my wax to build out the rest of that royalty, and I'm gonna use the rest of that to buy the Space Ghost royalty. So in three hundred dollars, I'm gonna have two Roadrunners, uh, Space Ghost royalty, and. Wiley Coyote, or not Wiley Coyote, Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny, royalty. nice. Like that's, so, I feel like it's, that's great. Yeah, so you turn in three hundred dollars into four rare Funkos yes. that are all super limited edition. Yes. Get over a hundred apiece. 
Yeah, no, that's awesome. I like that a lot. Like, I didn't like the Scooby-Doo ones that I pulled personally to begin with, so I was fine letting those go. Like, I don't. I don't yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of maybe. Ah, I'm looking at this Firebird. I might might sell it. I don't know. Um, but looking quickly, uh, someone mentioned just uh just the My Little Pony prices. Man, they're taking a hit. And you're telling me. But even still, the Grail we have, we both have the Grail mark. I feel fine. You're telling me twenty. This. I mean, these things out of out of. Fifteen hundred. You're, you're not gonna, gonna be gonna get twenty six dollars out of. I think that's a very low risk. I think so that's an I just easy. Just want to throw that low risk out there. Yeah. All right, Matt. Uh, here's something cool. So we haven't talked about sorcerer in a while. Let me go back. When was their last update? Yeah, I was gonna say we. Last update was July twentieth, guys. So here we go. September twentieth. Are they gonna do the twentieth for us? Okay, maybe they'll start doing the twentieth for us. Here we go. Well, uh, they put an update up to twentieth, but they're gonna do this today, the twenty first. Uh, 6 p.m. our time, so after our whatnot, we're doing whatnot after this, guys, so don't worry, you can catch us. Uh, sorcerers, join us live. We will update our Kickstarter backers and extended community on progress and activity with Sorcery Contested Realm. We will take questions and comprehensively update backers with what we are currently working on. Please join us if you can. If not, we'll have the video available on demand, which always nice to catch it whenever, dude. No big deal. Watch it in the morning. I like watching the shit in the morning, so. Mm -hmm. uh, very cool, guys. So... I would very highly recommend it if you uh, invested here. Check this out. I think this would be pr pretty cool. Give you an idea of what's to come. Um, do I expect you're going to get a ton out of it? No. But you know, I think it's going to be cool. You're going to get excited. You might get some dates and things like that. Some mm -hmm. things you're going to get updated again later. Like not things, not actionable things. How about that? No, it's just going to be update stuff for yeah. you're going to be updated again later. So it's nothing going to be like, you know, oh, come buy this. But maybe, you know, maybe, who knows? They might have like, hey, we, we decided to do a promo. Come buy it. Thanks for watching. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they could do something like I that. I mean, so. it, all it would cost you is time if you want to wait out and see if they offer anything. But at the very least, like you said, it's not, there's going to be no actionable points. We don't think it's just going to be information, I suppose, which is fine. Like, Hell, that just, means, sell a that promo. just means we're close to that cash this. flow going. Be like, guys, buy a promo right after this $10 a card. Boom, 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 boom. Just keep that cash flow. Coming. And then you're really li only limiting it to the people that are watching, which. Could... There you go, right? I'm not saying they should do uh, that. Shit, so put but... together right now. Okay, there you go, guys. So we'll check that out. Or, uh, you know, check out the end. See if they sell you something. Is uh, there any. Um, is this expected to print? What was it? Like November or something like that? Yeah, they moved it back. November. Okay. Well, Matt. You're gonna have to watch, bro. I don't. I mean, to. you know, I don't want to tell you. Watch, dude. We'll I'm not. Find I don't want to watch. I'm okay, watch see. the update. I'm gonna watch <laughs> the end. Actually, I got a little cooking to do after this. Maybe I'll you watch it, Mark. And if they're giving away promos, you just let me. All right. Well, I got a little cooking to do. Like I said, I'm gonna do a little grilling outside because it's a nice day, things like that. So you know, I'll throw it on in the background. I'll throw it on my phone. Have him fell. My neighbors will think I'm a psycho. Oh, great. The gilded. What are you listening non -gilded to? Non-gilded Kickstarter. I guess 95% of the non-gilded Kickstarter orders have been shipped for the Metazoo Kickstarter. Congratulations to everyone who's got it. I've sold some of it. I've kept some of it. So I'm kind of all over the place with it. But I'm uh, disappointed that I didn't get a really good print. But they gave me a free hollow sheet. So it all matches out. Uh, someone I know got the uh, Mothman King of Spades. So that was an oh, awesome nice. print. So what's, cool. that, uh, what's that going for? Like $800. No right. shit. Probably less now. $500. Oh. I'd sell that in a heartbeat. Uh, these comments are hilarious, though. Uh, these gilded cards are fit for a king that I'm going to send my package to King Charles. <laughs> Live a couple miles down the road. Oh, That's God. good. I'm in the 5%, of course. All of this. I just remember Tops just forgot to... Like, didn't even ship. Didn't yeah. even, you know, ship certain cards. So, I don't know. Just, you know, it sucks, I know. But, eh, what are you going to do? Maybe you'll get, you know, good shit in there. You never know. So, don't get too upset. Um... Schmidt, um, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, we're gonna do a Nostalgic Day Zero booster box after this. Uh, um, whatnot. Um, man, anything else going on? Anything else you want to talk about? Um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't know. Uh, okay, so here's here's one thing I'm gonna pay attention to, and I'm gonna share this okay. information because we appreciate our followers. All right, let's do it. Tops now. Occasionally they'll put stuff. Tops now is essentially they'll put cards out like the day after something cool happens. So if okay. you go to the Topps website, okay, this is what I was going to talk about. Aaron Judge and bo both Aaron Judge and Albert Pools are, are moving towards or in Aaron Judge's case, hit a milestone. So this morning or this afternoon, Topps now put out a, that Aaron Judge card, which was numbered to 60. They go super, super fast. I would imagine every single, the next home run he hits for 61 and when he breaks 62. the- Yes, I would imagine they're gonna release stuff for those as well. And for Albert Pools if he gets to 700. So, my suggestion would be, if these things happen, keep an eye on the Topps Now website the next day, maybe 10 or 11 o'clock, just keep refreshing. 
I don't know. Usually we'll, you'll get an email from the Tops Now mm. website saying this stuff is for sale. Once they send that email, it's going to be sold out. So you may just have to periodically check the Tops Now website and refresh. Go to like stuff that's featured and just kind of refresh the site. I was doing that today. I was like a minute too late on these things, number to 60. They were selling for like 200 bucks. Wow. Or that's what they sold them for. Yo, okay, because I was signing into Tops today yeah. and they had a huge capture where they made me select like lions yes. in a picture like five yeah. fucking times. Yeah. I'm like, am I, am I selecting lions wrong? Like yeah. what is going on here? Yes. It was probably because people were buying this shit. Yes, because... and I was ready. Oh. But like, so my expectation would be for 61 for 62, they're going to have numbered cards, maybe autographs. Same thing with the Albert Pools. Like you can buy the normal one. Like that's not numbered. And I was just gonna say it's not numbered. Not numbered. But parallels are randomly sure. inserted. Sure. So maybe you do want to buy maybe, it. There's look, so I'm not gonna argue. I don't with you, mind do taking a risk on this, and especially if I'm just gonna buy five. Sure. Instead of twenty bones. Sure. And you know what? I think I could sell those on eBay. Not now. I think maybe in a few years. At the very least, it's a, a cool card piece. to have. Yeah. I mean, if he hits sixty six, maybe not as many people will care about the card about sixty. But we should split this. You got 15 bucks? Sure, I'm in. Right, okay, in. we're going to split this. All right, well, I'll enter my info right here, my credit card. Right, yeah, no, give everyone we'll, your credit card. We'll do this after this, but yeah. But yeah. This, this is something to Thank keep you. an eye this on. this is awesome. Yes. I'm excited about this. Yeah. Because I am going to buy one of this these. This stuff is hot. So I'll like, buy five of these. One of my friends, when the, when the White Sox it. and the Yankees played the Field of Dreams game last year, the day after the game, they started selling like the, and they did it after the Cubs-Reds game that I was at. Same thing. The next day, they'll, they'll sell like uh, promo cards, like that had pieces of the corn stalks and autographs on it sold out immediately and they have really really good resale value so like you look at the Aaron Judge card number to 60 and this they're selling big... it for 200 bucks like it's it's kind of pricey but at the end of the day it's an Aaron Judge card number to 60 commemorating his 60th home run someone's gonna want it yeah absolutely yeah absolutely and even like the regular cards I think what do you think not the 60 you want 62 uh what, what 60 number do you 62 want? 62 because so I think I'd go I'd wait for 62 I don't know if I'd buy I would try same. to get any of them to be fair okay, but so you six, want to buy 60 61 60. okay we're gonna buy five each guys Matt we're in I think well I'm saying for me from a, uh, a collector standpoint I think a lot of people um view 61 as the true home run record because the people that broke it Sosa Bonds McGuire, ah, yeah they're all juiced to the gills and look I have no problem with that everyone was Toss doing them it. out all right okay yeah everyone no, but, was but, doing but it. to compare yes you have to put these in a separate the purists will say that 61 is the true home run record we don't know if Maris was doing green easy problem was who cares yep if Aaron Judge hits 62 that's going to be a really big deal like people are uh, there are a lot of be people saying that he's the real home run champ and awesome. maybe he is depending on how you view it but that's uh, just a, a... Should I cut this from the YouTube, or are we going to put this on the YouTube? Eh, but at this point, people... Yeah. All right, we're going to put it on the YouTube. If you made it to the end of the show, yeah. congratulations, guys. Sure. Matt, that's awesome. I am going to buy that. I am going to kind of... Um... Oh, and look, <laughs> Jay Pone's right here. And yeah, there you go, Save my ass. Uh, there you go. So he might be watching if he mentions that. Awesome, dude. Well, uh, yeah, good luck on the baseball betting. I'm a full on uh, football betting. I'm doing okay in football betting. I'll drop some picks like anyone sure. cares. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, like, I'm so much, you know, pretty sharp. Um, guys, we are heading over to whatnot. We're gonna do uh, some nostalgics. Uh, we're gonna do a bunch of giveaways. We'll try, yeah. Uh, besides it, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun and uh, ad in progress. Oh, fuck this shit. Fuck you, ad. Uh, yeah. Um, and yeah, we'll do a bunch of fun stuff there. Snooze and, that uh, ad, Mark. No, 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 no. I can't snooze it. Yeah. I no, can't. I can't. No, Never mind. Sorry. No. Um, but yeah, no. Um, we'll do that, and uh, we got um, other stuff coming up next week. We should be getting our slabs back soon, so we're gonna have like a hundred slabs coming. So you will. Uh, um, you know, and we got an email if we wanted to do like apply to do like whatnot at uh, the Collecticon in Kansas City, and we didn't. You know, you were coming back from Europe. I wasn't gonna go, but maybe the next one, if we get another email. We if there's one up. local, I would like to go to that. Eh, market, next one's in Denver. I've been to Denver a couple of times. It's all right. I'd like to go. Yeah. All right, guys, um, as we uh, join us on whatnot, and as yeah. we always say to end the show is pull, pull the, the big, big one. one. All right, peace, guys. Take it easy. We'll catch you on the other side. If not, catch you Friday. Peace. Uh -huh.